Hi, this is a quick video to show you a prototype of something that we've developed using Autodesk Inventor and Amy Connect, creating uh, designs of things. So we're going to create a new part here. A part is a an object which can then be combined into larger assemblies. So we're just going to create a circular part, like so and we will extrude it on its axis and that's an unknown material at the moment so what the Amy Connect integration is doing is working with the materials that are built into Autodesk Inventor to work out embodied carbon emissions as you are doing your design process so let's say we choose to make this object out of copper you can see here the Amy material data has popped up as soon as we've selected that material and it's telling us exactly how much CO2, how much energy is involved in making it, or making the materials that go into it. Uh, you can see as we change the material, if we change to something like wood, we'll get a different set of results. It's, uh, different uh, amounts, probably smaller, um, including in this case some biogenic CO2 emissions. And if we change to some other ones, let's say polypropylene, it changes once again. So that's showing you the embodied emissions of the thing that you're designing as you're doing it, right there. And if you wonder where that data comes from, you can click on the material information button up here and it will link you straight through to the emissions, uh, sorry, to the data page on Amy Discover, which shows you exactly where that information's come from and the methodology that's behind it. So there we go, embedding uh, sustainability information at the design process using Autodesk Inventor. Thanks very much.